and we're underway. It's Angel City versus Washington Spirit. We're live from BMO Stadium and Angel City all in black, Spirit in the white. Rodman's still there, Girena! And a strike from Sanchez, now with Rodman for the Spirit. Hatch with a turn. Starb for the Spirit, does go towards the far post. Pushed away by Haricic. Really well done, Dave. And it's flicked on as Sanchez. It's Thompson. Back to McCaskill, looks up. And Vignola. Wow. Really important interception by Amber Brooks. That was heading back towards the far post and would have been extremely difficult for the keeper. Yeah, this looked like it had the back post written all over. McCaskill's been really, really good in the final third of the field. And it off to Brooks, swings the ball into the danger wow. area. Wow. Oh, what a chance that was. Swept back in. Wow. Away by Kingsbury, still the danger's there. McCaskill, and a little touch away from Carl, and that'll be a corner. It'll be a shot for a penalty kick here, but Kingsbury on that, I don't know if it was a cross or a shot, it looked like a cross from Vignola out wide left. Sometimes it comes off the outside of your foot and spins towards the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think she's crossing this one. Doesn't get enough bend on it. And Kingsbury has been sharp the entire season. It's been really good tonight. And then we see the shout here. Caskill makes the turn. Does Carl maybe clip the back of the heel? Because it didn't look like she touched the ball. Well, VAR will check, as they always do, for any potential penalty kicks. Did she get the ball yeah. and did she get enough of the ball? It looked like she got enough of it. What can Starb do here? Pushed away by Haricic as far as McKeown. Flicked back on, it's still not cleared. And Hatch and it's Rodman. Wow. A lot of space. Weatherholt comes across. Mateo's ball in, it's a decent one as well. And what about this strike oh, from Brooks. Brooks? Oh my goodness, Hat, all the power behind it. Claire Ensley with it. And it's a high hanging one. Back into the danger area. And Kingsbury, who's been in the walls tonight, caught again, but she's okay. But clean hands, right? Again. Some black shirts around her. Now she finds a space. Oh, and just for a moment. Wow. Harachish wasn't too sure. <laughs> yeah. And again, this is the more difficult, I think, of the opportunities. Sanchez on her left foot here, but she has to do a lot of work. Battling with Weatherholt there. Tries to beat Hadicic over the top. Like there may have been a slight deflection there. Hadicic had to deal with it. Here's Claire Emsley again. A little bit of time and space. Flicked on by Johnson. Mignola battling away. Uh, good touch here by Kingsbury. As this ball gets fizzed across the front of the goal here. Vignola at that back post. On. And it's still not cleared. Oh, oh it's a handball Vignola's here. hands were up, yeah. and that's a penalty. That is a penalty to Washington Spirit in stoppage time. Vignola cannot believe it. Her arms were up, and she receives the yellow card. Hatch scores. What a moment for Ashley Hatch and for Washington Spirit. And if they see this through, then Spirit are heading to the top of the table. Boy, what a night it's been here for both sides here. Too bad it may be decided by this play right here. The ball bounces out to the substitute, Shiva. And Vignola with the arm up and the ensuing penalty kick here buried by Ashley Hatch. Sending Hadicic the wrong way, even if she had gone that way. I don't think she has a chance at this one. This is buried for the fifth goal of the season for Ashley Hatch. Spirit side. And it's all over. It's all over. And Mark Parsons' side are heading to the top of the NWSL table. That one moment deep into stoppage time and a brilliantly dispatched penalty from Ashley Hatch.